John Logan was born in 1747 in Virginia to David and Jane Logan. His family was located near the North River. It was a tributary of the South Fork in the Shenandoah River. His father died in 1757 and the family moved many times. He married Jane McClure in the 1770s and they had seven children. In 1773, John moved his family to the Holston area of Virginia. Logan, his brother, and other family members came through Cumberland Gap and broke west instead of heading north. They settled in the area of Dix River. His older brother, Benjamin Logan, was the leader of the party, and he and John Floyd decided to settle the area and call it St. Asaph, which would become Stanford, Kentucky. Over the next few years, William Logan and his brother built cabins and other necessities to strengthen the settlement. He became the captain of the militia in 1779 and was promoted to lieutenant colonel in 1781. He fought in many campaigns against Native Americans. During one event, Logan led 70 men in a pursuit of a group of Chickamauga into Tennessee, accidentally attacked a group of friendly Cherokee and killed seven of them. Legal action was taken by the Cherokee, but Logan did not face charges. He represented Lincoln County multiple times in the Virginia legislature. 1784, 89, and 91. He was part of many statehood conventions, the first, the fourth, the fifth, and the seventh. He was a delegate from Kentucky during the adoption of the federal constitution and voted against it. Kentucky became a state in 1792 and Logan was elected to the state senate. He did not stay in the position long, a total of 17 days. The legislature elected him to be Kentucky's first state treasurer on June 18, 1792. As the first state treasurer, he was given a difficult task. He had to manage the different currencies being used in the state, and he created the offices of Justice of Peace, Sheriff, Auditor, and Surveyor, and he set their salaries. He also had to find a way to support the defense of the frontier. He was a trustee of the city of Frankfort and represented Franklin County in the convention of the second Kentucky Constitution. He served as the state treasurer until he died on July of 1807 in Frankfurt. I hope you've enjoyed learning about John Logan. He was part of an important frontier family. He, along with his brother, helped settle the state and create its government. As history may shine more on his brother, John Logan deserves the same notoriety. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.